All right, hey, just in advance, sorry for the noise. I am at the park. Okay, I'm gonna jump right into it. This is for the Aries Love Energy for the month of August. First three cards that were pulled is the Devil card in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Then we have the Emperor, the Magician, and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we got the Death card in reverse, the Justice card in reverse, and the Four of Cups. Okay, this is a lot of major iconas. Okay, two more. We got the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Aries. So right off that, what I'm getting from this energy that has been pulled is it feels like you were intermixed with someone um, that you may have feel like was toxic or just not the best situation for you. Um, and I feel like you haven't let go of this person per se, but I feel like you just decided to put your efforts and your energy elsewhere instead of trying to fix this connection or make it work or, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, your partner's energy or the person that's prominent in your energy um on the other hand i feel like they're trying to figure out how to regain the upper hand um for a lot of you i feel like you are being cheated on by this person or this person um was interactive in inappropriate ways with other people um but for a lot of you, I feel like this person may have been cheating and that's kind of why you just took a step back and you're just like, look, let me just put my energy into myself and to what I know is going to work because you found that you can't really control this person and what they're going to do despite what they say. Okay, so I feel like this person has let go um, of the other person or maybe the person that you caught them with. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, it is like a significant person that this person is continuing to interact with. Um, that they've let go of. Now, what I can say is I don't feel like they let them go because they're serious in letting them go. I feel like they have let them go as a tactic to get back into good graces with you. Not necessarily because that's what they wanted to do. Um, and because of that, I feel like if you were to um, forgive this person, like they're gonna end up doing what they're gonna do. Like this seems like a person that is gonna cheat regardless so sometimes you have to look at situations and patterns and you have to say okay this is what this person um wants to do this is what this person does um and from there you have to move accordingly now you have to ask yourself do you want to be with someone who you know is going to cheat or are you just going to be done with it because those are your options you can't really control or make that person stop doing what they're whatever they're doing that's disrupting your relationship with them um now for uh for the overall energy again it hasn't come to an end i feel like things are not um all the way at a solution between you two you and this person um i feel like the truth is still not being said by this person i feel like aries you may feel like you know, it maybe if I could just get the truth or uh, get the clarity I need or whatever the case may be, then I can, you know, move accordingly. But this person is not really offering truth. They're offering you what you want to hear in order to um, be interactive with you in the way that they want to be interactive with you. Okay, they're not doing it. They, this person is not going to give you the truth. You know the truth. You don't need this person to tell you the truth. You already know what the hell is going on. Okay, um, so I feel like you both, like I feel like this person trying to offer you what they feel like, like um, what they feel like will bring resolution to the situation. They may be apologizing and saying, oh, I'll never do it again. Or I love you and I wanna be with you. I wanna marry you if you're already married. Like I don't wanna get a divorce. Like I, you know, those sorts of things, but there's really no action behind it. It's just a lot of watery words happening, okay? Um, now, your advice, Aries, is to put the energy into yourself, okay? You got the Queen of Wands here and the Six of Pentacles. It can't get more clear than that. Um, put the energy into yourself. The energy that you've been putting into this person because there, there's a certain extent of energy that goes into a relationship and your partner when you're in a relationship, whether it's a bad one or a good one. That's just how it is. So the energy that you've been putting into this person, into this relationship, into the situationship, 
Um, for a lot of you, I don't feel like it's a situation ship. I feel like this is someone that you actually, like you both came to terms like, okay, we're gonna be together and things they just ain't doing right. They ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. I feel like that's what's going on. But I feel like, yeah, just continue to put your efforts into things that are gonna work for you and especially things that are of your best interest, okay? Because this person is just gonna keep on lying and if you take them back, they're gonna do what they wanna do. So I'm not saying don't be with them. All I'm saying is, is that if you're going to move forward with this person, you have to understand that this is what this person is going to do. And you have to decide if you're gonna be okay with that or if you just ready to move on, okay? But either way, right now, I feel like just put the focus into yourself. All right, I hope that this reading helps. Um, if you want a personal one, because this is for entertainment okay this is not this is not that okay um this is general so you know it's gonna resonate or it's not if you would like a personal one um my email will be in the description box below and if not there's multiple other readers out there all right